The film starts with MMA matches happening in locker rooms. Three young men are waiting for their turn to fight when a fourth guy arrives, creating tension among them. A man calls out Stokes, and Mike, one of the four guys, responds because it's his turn to fight. Next, the scene shifts to introduce our four fighters. Mike Stokes is dropped off at college by his dad, with whom he has a strained relationship. He meets his roommate Kurt, who seems friendly. Then, we meet Zach, a boxer, training with his coach. They discuss an upcoming fight, but his coach is concerned about a substitute fighter named Ortega, whom they don't know much about. Despite this, Zach is confident and agrees to the fight. Following that, there's Tim, who balances odd jobs with college while his mom struggles financially after his dad's passing. Lastly, we meet Justin Epstein, a comic book store clerk and enthusiast. A girl visits to trade comic books, and he asks her out, but she turns him down firmly. Later, Mike discovers the college website hacked to display a countdown for an event called the Beatdown. Kurt encourages Mike to enjoy college life, but Mike is hesitant. Eventually, Kurt persuades him to confide in him, and Mike agrees, making Kurt promise to keep it secret. Subsequently, they attend a typical college party filled with dancing, drinking, and casual encounters. Kurt challenges Mike to approach a girl, and Mike becomes smitten immediately. He asks her out, but she reveals she already has a boyfriend. In the following scene, Zack is in a boxing match against Ortega, taking a severe beating. His eye swells shut, and he ends up knocked out on the canvas. Later, Justin walks home one night and notices two people training. He keeps walking but is then ambushed by bullies. Though he tries to fight back, he's outnumbered and gets beaten up. Justin manages to escape and encounters the guys he saw earlier, including Tim and an older black man, who scare off the bullies. On another occasion, Mike is summoned to meet with the resident advisor, Max Cooperman. Max wants fighters for his underground MMA tournament, The Beatdown, scheduled in 100 days with a $10,000 prize for the winner. Mike agrees to consider it. In the next scene, Zack's doctor delivers the devastating news that head injuries have damaged his left eye's retina, forcing him to quit boxing to avoid blindness. Zack is deeply upset by this prognosis. The focus shifts to Tim, who arrives home to find his siblings unsupervised, watching inappropriate music videos on TV. Concerned, Tim asks about their mother's whereabouts and heads to a strip club to see her. He discovers she's working there as a waitress, and when Tim objects, she insists he leave. In gym class, Mike engages in wrestling but faces taunts about his father abandoning his mother for another man. Enraged, Mike attacks his opponent, leading to intervention by others. Unfortunately, in his fury, Mike strikes the coach, resulting in his expulsion from the gym. Mike and Zack encounter each other outside Max's dormitory. They approach the door and express their interest in joining the tournament to Max. Max inquires how Zack discovered his location and Zack explains he found him through video comments since Max has a degree of fame. Max questions their MMA background, learning about Zack's boxing and Mike's wrestling experience. He requests them to demonstrate some techniques and suggests they seek guidance from Case Walker, highlighting that training with him for a day is equivalent to a month with anyone else. They both visit Case. He's muscular and clearly seasoned. Tim trains nearby, and Justin's also under Case's guidance. When Mike and Zack introduce themselves, Case questions why he should train them. They explain their interest in the beatdown, mentioning Max referred them. Case becomes irritated, likening Max to a wannabe Dana White. He warns them to relay a message to Max about sending more people his way. Zack starts to leave, but Mike stays firm, insisting he won't go. Case carefully assesses them and acknowledges their determination. Recognizing Mike's wrestling background and Zack's boxing skills, he agrees to train them. In exchange, he demands their full commitment, effort, dedication, and financial compensation. Case assigns Mike to practice sprawls and kicks with Zack, along with a unique task, punching through a piece of paper suspended on a string. He demonstrates the technique, making a hole in the paper's center, and instructs Mike to repeat it until perfected. Following that, there's a sequence showing Tim and Zack training, with Justin receiving instruction from Case in the background. Mike struggles persistently to punch through the paper. After several hours, Case dismisses him, instructing him to return the next day. During this time, the group engages in consistent training activities. Justin studies during his job, while Tim teaches his younger siblings. Mike roams around campus, 
practicing his punching technique and drawing curious glances from the girl he attempted to impress at the party. The group continues their training diligently. One day, while waiting for Case to join them, tensions rise among the group. Zack insults Justin's mother, which Case overhears. Case intervenes, calling out Justin for allowing the insult and instructs him to demonstrate a move called the flounder. The others are curious about this move when suddenly Justin swiftly throws Zack to the ground. The group breaks up the scuffle between Zack and Justin just as Max arrives. Max approaches Case with a proposal. To generate buzz for the upcoming tournament, Case should fight people at a bar. Needing money, Case agrees. That night, the four guys watch as Case defeats person after person, each attempting to last a minute to earn a hundred bucks, but Case doesn't allow it. Zack's girlfriend arrives, the same girl from the party, and she asks Mike about his well-being after his father left his mother for another man, prompting snickers from the others. Enraged, Mike confronts Case, but Case advises him against it and holds him in a grip, warning him to tap out or risk injury. However, Mike refuses to comply. The following day, two police officers arrive at Case's residence and identify him as a convict. They instruct him to leave the area. When the group arrives, Case informs them to depart, stating that coaching will no longer be possible. Justin arrives and announces his decision to participate in the tournament. Tim comes up with an idea and locates an empty building for their training sessions. Zack instructs everyone to start preparing and heads to his former gym to gather equipment. They summon Case to the location, where Max unveils a sign reading Case Walker's Combat Club. Case enters and is highly impressed, leading to the commencement of their training. One day, during a training session, the group witnesses Case sparring with Lyoto Mishida. Case was a prominent figure in the MMA scene six years ago before vanishing. Tim discloses that he spent two years in prison and was subsequently released on probation. Later, the group discusses the potential reasons for Case's incarceration, sparking disagreement between Mike and Justin. Case arrives and instructs them to fight in the cage. They comply, resulting in Justin maneuvering Mike into a hold. Despite the hold, Mike refuses to tap out and eventually loses consciousness. Following this, Eve, Zach's girlfriend, arrives to check on Mike. During training, Case notices Zach's eye issue and asks about it. Zach explains, but Case continues training him, emphasizing that it's Zach's choice to fight despite the consequences. In another scene, Case coaches Mike and advises him on controlling anger to manage fights better. As time passes and the guys continue training, Zach attracts more attention from girls. He breaks up with Eve and decides to withdraw from the beatdown. On the other hand, Justin seeks revenge on the guys who previously attacked him, going into a frenzy. Covered in blood afterward, Justin thanks Case. But Case urges him to leave to avoid police trouble. Meanwhile, Mike and Eve begin a relationship. As Max and his team prepare for the tournament, Max visits Case, who reveals that Zack dropped out. Max and Case discuss Case's past, including his journey following his father's footsteps into fighting and losing himself after his family's tragedy in the ring. Case got arrested after a club fight. Max shares his belief that Case's parents are always watching over him. As Max prepares to leave in his car, two police cars arrive searching for Case's trailer. They plant a gun and attempt to arrest Case, but Case fights back and defeats all the cops. Max captures everything on video and takes Case to a police station. There, Tim, Mike, and Zack wait until the lawyer arrives with news that the gun has Justin Epstein's fingerprints, implicating Justin in the trouble with Case. They decide to attend the beatdown to confront Justin. The tournament kicks off with Max taking the spotlight. Each of our characters wins their matches, including Zack, who re-enters to challenge Justin. Tim defeats his opponent swiftly and receives a lot of praise. Backstage, Justin works to mentally prepare himself but maintains his composure. The matches continue until Mike and Zack advance to the semifinals, supporting each other and aiming to face Justin. Mike defeats Zack using an anaconda choke, while Justin injures Tim's knee in the restroom with a metal bar, forcing Tim out of the tournament. Mike and Justin have a tough fight, and Mike eventually wins by using an armbar submission to break Justin's right shoulder. Justin tries to get back at Mike by attacking him from behind, but Mike responds by landing a Superman punch to Justin's face. After celebrating his victory with his girlfriend Eve, Mike decides to finally call his father and invites him to dinner to discuss important matters. Case receives a call from Big John McCarthy, confirming his comeback to MMA.
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.